Hey guys, welcome back. So here's a quick update on my testing and evaluation process. I guess if you'll call, you want to call it that of the Criterion 12.5 core barrel. So far, everything has been running like a top. Uh, ejection pattern, as I stated in the previous video. With the suppressor, first round is just ahead of 3 o'clock, right around 2.45ish. And then it settles down immediately right at 3 o'clock with this AC Ranger 5. I haven't tested it with the Legacy AC can, the uh, 5.56 SD. But I will, just not right now. But with this setup, right at 3 o'clock, you take the can off. It's right about 4, between 4 and 4.15. But it's very consistent in that direction. <clears throat> very soft. Uh, smooth impulse. I was expecting it to be uh, a little harsher because it was a, or it is a uh, a carbine length gas system. <clears throat> Excuse me. But very soft. This thing is gassed beautifully. Couldn't ask for more. Since the last video, I've gone to the range three additional times. I've got some filming, but a lot of it was either ruined or interrupted by other people on the range. So if I do tie anything into it, it'll just be some background stuff while I'm talking. But I did go back to the range because I was curious how this was going to perform, if I was going to see any of the groups tighten up, because the groups were pretty average for the price of the barrel one and two. It being a Criterion core, they're known for being very accurate barrels. And um, I felt that it could do better. Some barrels, not all, um, but my experience is that most barrels will settle down after so many rounds, almost like a break-in period, where you're getting that, that copper fouling and, and all that stuff, smoothing out those imperfections, and, and those groups will begin to tighten up a bit. Sometimes it's more than others. Sometimes it doesn't tighten up at all. It just is what it is. So initial accuracy testing, you saw that in the previous video. So this is what I got so far from my three additional range trips as of this moment. I'll have to cut some of these lights because this is going to be really washed out. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, really washed out. Let me cut this one. Cut that, and then this one. So, here we go. So, for my second range trip, again ran Fiocchi 55 grain that came in at seven, uh, 2.748 inches. PMC tightened up a little bit at 1.640. Australian Outback 55 grain was pretty much on par with what it was doing before at uh, 1.632 Winchester M855 the 62 grain green tip was 3.675 I think it tightened up a little bit but not much AC 77 grain again was right around 1.3 and then I shot a second group of AC and that one was at 1.599 basically 1.6 and these two here my first three were here and then these were my last two I think I was kind of rushing the shot not only that, but uh, Mirage does pay, play a factor. Not to make excuses, but it is a real thing. Um, so that opened up. Went back to the range maybe two days after that. And decided to start from the heaviest and go down. And uh, this is what I got out of these. So AC 77 grain was 1.182 inches. I shot another... This one was a six shot group. My first shot was high. And then uh, after shooting my four shot group or the rest of it, I shot one additional one and tied it in down there. So um, I know I pulled that first shot, so I wanted to make it a clean group. Um, and that's what I got at 1.122. So pretty consistent at 1.1, 1, 1 1.12 to 1.18. Uh, I shot a, uh, a group of Winchester 55 grain or a, uh, M855 62 grain that tightened up substantially at 2.440 and 
And then I shot a nine shot group of AAC at 1.585 for a nine shot group. Now, if you notice, I got some vertical stringing there. I think that was me with my breathing while I was in the prone. So I would have to go back and run another nine shot group being way more stable. Um, but still not too bad, just that vertical stringing that can be seen plain as day. Went back a fourth, shot, a fourth time because I felt like it could tighten up even more. And this is what I got. So at 100 yards with the PMC, for, one, for like two groups, I put on a, a 4 to 16, but I took it off because it was annoying me. So my point of aim is here. My point of impact for my first group is down here at uh, 1.3004 PMC. So that was my point of aim. That's my point of impact. So 1.3 for XTAC 55 grain XM193 stuff is very, 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 very good. Um, I shot a second group here, and that's what I got. That was just a four-shot group, so I shot the rest of the ammo that I had, but still right in line with what you see here. The Australian Outback really performed well. So 55 grain Sierra Blitz King with the first shot, which was a clean pull, so maybe it was it just sometimes it... I get rounds like that the, the first round will tend to shoot high and then the rest of them will settle down but uh, with that first shot it's 1.101 without that first shot you're talking a half inch 0.541 shot a second group down here of 55 grand Sierra Blitz King from Australian Outback and it gave me 1.054 five shot group so very consistent um, by this point, suppressor was heating up, so I was getting a little bit of mirage, so that may have been why it opened up a little bit, but still very good. I went and shot the last of my 77 green OTM for AAC, at least that I had with me, and I was getting a really awesome group until my fourth shot, and then I pulled it low into the right, and I know exactly what happened. As I was prepping the trigger, I moved... I moved forward a little bit, like the, just a hair, and I broke the shot as I was prepping that trigger, and I kind of moved. So I pulled the shot low into the right. That was the last one, or else I would have sent a, a sixth shot to see if that was really me or if it was the ammo or whatever. But 1.675 with that pull, 0.672 without the pull. So very good. And then the last of the 55 grain I had, I shot a group down here. I didn't feel like running that to 100 yards to put another pasty, so I just shot one round of the M855, and I used that as my point of aim. And I got that was my five shot group, so the center one is the point of aim, and then everything around it is the, uh, the grouping of the Australian Outback 55 grain Sierra Blitz King. And that gave me 0.775. So, so far, it's shooting really, really good. Better than my, my Triarch bar barrel did. Um, <clears throat> really excited about the performance of that. Again, it's gassed exceptionally well. It's shooting really good. It's starting to tighten up those groups. Um, the only thing I did was I cleaned it after the, the initial, uh, the first range trip. I cleaned it thoroughly, like it was brand new. And then I went ahead and shot those groups again. Nothing more than just maybe running a boar snake through to get out anything that may have been forgotten or any, any stupid stuff. But other than that... That's so far how it's shooting, so I am really, really excited about it. I do plan on getting more ammo, more stuff like Federal 69 grain, Federal 77 grain. A couple more precision loads to see what it can do, even some precision 55 grain loads. Um, so it's it's shooting awesome. Going back to the Triarch deal, so 
I told you that I was having a hard time getting a hold of them. No answer after my initial uh, conversation with them and them telling me to send it in to be uh, inspected for warranty. They finally got back to me earlier this week, Monday, so almost exactly a month from the last time that we had communication. Um, and I just got lucky when I called and answered. I emailed multiple times. I sent um, emails to the initial individual that I was I was talking to. I called for like a week and a half straight. I called every day, every business day. Sometimes I would call multiple times a day. I could never get through to anybody. And I couldn't even leave a voicemail because their voicemail box is full. So, um, they finally answered the phone they gave me the rma so tomorrow it's going to be shipped out and hopefully they replace it they should replace it because that should not be happening um overall very excited about this i will have more on this but it's going to be a little bit of time in the meantime i'm finally getting around to that six hour romeo 7s and the uh juliet 3x micro magnifier um, i've had that for a couple years now and i've just been Something else comes in and then I end up doing that and I forget about those things. So I'll be doing a review on those. I have a primary arms 1-6, to six, the SLX Gem 4, 1-6 to six Aurora and meters. I'll be doing that. And then uh, a couple other things that I got coming out of Pipeline. But yeah, stick around so you can see what's coming up. And uh, let me know what you think about the results of those groups. And I will catch you in the next video. Thanks.